Hey guys, welcome to a new Blender tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make cool uh, cloth simulations in Blender. So it is quite easy to make a cloth simulation in Blender and it is quite fun. So let's start. I'll just delete this default cube. Now we need an object uh, with which a cloth will interact. So I'll just add a monkey head. So shift A and under the mesh, I'll add a monkey. I'll just smoothen out this monkey. It is a bit flat, so I'll just do that. So I'll add a subdivision surface modifier to this monkey first. And then I'll just smoothen it out. So under under the object panel, I'll just hit shade smooth. Okay, now when that's done, we'll start working on a cloth. So I'll just hit shift A and I'll add a plane. I'll just move this plane up. So I'll select the move tool and I'll move it up right here. Something like that is good. I'll just increase the size of this plane. So I'll just select the scale tool and I'll just hold my mouse on the circle and I'll just scale it. I'll just select the plane and I'll add a subdivision surface modifier to it. I'll change the subdivision surface modifier from catmull clock to simple. I'll change that mode and in the render and the viewport, I'll make it five divisions each and I'll just apply this modifier. Okay, now when you press tab, you can see that a plane is subdivided. So that's good. I'll just quickly give the monkey and the plane some material. So I'll just select the monkey and under the materials tab, I'll add a new material and I'll just make it a metallic material. At the moment, you can't see a material. So I'll just go into the look dev mode. I'll just give this cloth a default material. So I'll just add a new material and I'll go into the shading tab. In the first one, I'll make it a light blue color and in the second one, I'll make it a dark blue color. Now I'll just mix these two shaders. Okay, now I'll just add a checker texture. So under the texture, I need a checker texture. And I'll also add a color ramp. So shift A under the converter, I'll need a color ramp. I'll pop this color into the factor of the color ramp and the color of the color ramp goes into the factor of the mix shader. In the checker texture, I'll just increase the scale from five to 20. We'll just go back into our default uh, view. So I'll just go back into the layout. Okay, now we'll work on our physics. So I'll select the monkey first. I'll go under the modifiers tab. Under the simulate panel, I'll add a collision modifier. So this means that this monkey is now a part of a physics. So it will interact with other objects. Okay, so when that's done, I'll select this plane and I'll add a modifier. And under the simulate only, but this time I'll add a cloth modifier. Now I'll just uh, click this play button. This plane behaves like a cloth. So that's how easy it is to uh, make a cloth uh, simulation in Blender. So as you can see, this cloth is a bit flat. So I'll just do the same as I did for the monkey. So I'll just select this cloth. I'll go under the object panel and I'll just smoothen this out by shade smooth. Okay, now at this moment, uh, this cloth simulation is at its default settings. So to go into the settings, I'll just select the plane again and I'll just uh, click this button. So now we have our physics uh, properties right here. Now, as you can see, we can increase the quality steps. We can increase the dampening. We can also bake the simulation. I'll just do one thing under the collisions. I'll just turn on self collision. So the cloth will collide with itself. Okay. You can increase the quality and you can play with these settings. So yeah, that's it guys. This is how easy it is to make a cloth simulation in Blender. So if you like this video, you can leave a like down below. It helps a lot. And also check out my Patreon page and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.